Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, March 30th, 2012. Our top story comes from the world of physics. Fermi National Laboratory near Chicago has successfully transmitted the first neutrino-based message. Communications today happen predominantly through electromagnetic waves, but this form of encoding information has many limitations. Depending on the signal's wavelength, anything could block it, from buildings, mountains, and water. Neutrinos instead have very peculiar properties. They are electrically neutral and their mass is incredibly small. Because they don't interact much with either gravity or electromagnetic radiations, neutrinos can pass through virtually any material. It is therefore obvious why they would be desirable as a means of communication. However, their penetrating nature makes them very evasive to detect. Even the multi-ton detector of Fermilab can detect only 1 in 10 billion neutrinos. The detected message consisted of a binary coding of the word neutrino. The accelerator either emitted a large beam of neutrinos where it was supposed to transmit ones or did not emit anything to signal the presence of zeros. It is obvious that a practical use of neutrinos for communication is still at a very early stage. We can't carry particle accelerators in our pockets, but this study is nevertheless the first step. Next is a quick story from the world of energy technology. A solar power station in Spain that's been running since May produces power day and night. This is thanks to the fact that the main source of power in the Gemma solar power station is steam turbines heated by molten salts. The salts are melted by the 2,600 mirrors focusing sunlight on the central tower at approximately 1,000 times normal solar intensity. With the ability to store this energy, it can generate power 6,400 hours per, as opposed to the up to 2,000 hours of a conventional solar station. Gemma Solar's design not only makes power production greater by about 60% and more consistent, it's enough to power 30,000 Spanish homes. Unfortunately, this kind of station requires a large investment. Gemma Solar cost 260 million euros and was only possible with government subsidies and foreign investors. Although it's estimated to repay this cost in about 18 years, it's unlikely more stations like this will be built in the future due to the economic situation. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.